In this video, we're having a quick look around the Optimize Press dashboard, just to show you some of the places where you can configure and set up some primary settings inside your site. So when you go to the dashboard, you'll always be on the global settings page. And from here, this is where you control all of the global settings for your pages, things like your header, the fav icon, the site footer message, if you want to turn on and off the SEO options, and so on. There's many different options here. All you need to do is click on the actual text to expand the options below. And from there, you can choose to configure each of the individual settings. Also in this dashboard, you can access the analytics and tracking. This is where you would install things like Google Analytics or Crazy Egg Tracking, whichever company you use. We have the header section. So this is the header of the HTML page. We then have the body section. So this is going inside the body of the page. And then we have another option here, which is towards the end of the body. So if you wanted to put code at the bottom of your pages, you'd put them into this section here. Also from the dashboard, you can add all of your email marketing services. Simply enter in the API key for the service you want to use or click on the little connect button, which will take you over to that service and connect you up. If you want to enable the Facebook comments on any of your pages, this is where you'd come and put in your Facebook app ID. So whenever you open up the dashboard, you'll be taken to the global settings page first. Also on the left hand side, you have the option to create a new page. You've got your blog settings and your blog setup. Also you have the launch suite and the support section. Okay, So that's where you can go inside the dashboard to configure your site, put in your master settings, come back and tweak and change anything in the existing site.